In today's video, we're going to take you all the way down the Swan Valley from Big Fork to Seeley Lake, and we'll check out everything in between. Hi, I'm Angie Friedner, and I grew up in Montana, and on this channel, we are going to tell you everything there is to know about living in Montana. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so that you are notified every time we put out a new video. We get calls every day from people that want to move to Montana and we love helping them out. So if you're thinking about moving to Montana, please don't hesitate to email us, text, call, anything so we can help you with your move to Montana. So today we're going to give you a tour of the Swan Valley, which as you can see, it's about a 73 mile drive from Big Fork down to Seely Lake. And starting in Big Fork, Big Fork is located on the northeast corner of Flathead Lake. It's a little town that's all about tourism. There's some great restaurants here in town. Um, it sits right on a bay of Flathead Lake, so there's homes right around the bay and there's a uh, resort called Marina Cay right there as well. The downtown area has a bunch of great restaurants, some good bars. Um, it's a fun little place to walk around and check out all the shops. It's also the site of uh, one of the biggest 4th of July parades in Montana. So every 4th of July this town is just packed wall to wall and the parade goes all the way through town. And as you can see, it's surrounded by mountains, and here at the end of the main street, or the downtown area, we're gonna cross the little one-lane bridge, and that crosses the Swan River, which comes out of the Swan Lake, which we will tour here in a moment. The average price of homes in Big Fork has, most of the year of 2020, have, has been right around $380,000, but then, Right June, July, and August, the price went up 5%, and now the average price in September is up to $420,000. And I think this is just because of all the people moving in and some of the big sales on the lake. Uh, over a million dollars have skewed this number up a little bit. Prices are going up, but 420 seems a bit high for your average house in Big Fork. As you head out of Big Fork, you'll go through the little tiny community of Ferndale. And all it is is basically this store here that I like to call the Ferndale Mall. And it's the only suburb of Big Fork. So it does have a little grass airstrip runway out there too. So if you have a small plane, you can fly into Ferndale. About five or six miles south of Ferndale on Highway 83, you're going to run into Swan Lake. Swan Lake is a great lake. Uh, it's about eight miles long and about a mile wide and there's no dam on it at all. Uh, and it runs along the side of the road as you can see here. The actual town of Swan Lake is 13 miles south of Ferndale. There are houses and cabins located all the way down the east side of the lake, but over on the west side, the houses only come about halfway down from the Big Fork area. Uh, there's no road that continues all the way down the west side of the lake, so the only houses or cabins you'll find on Swan Lake are on the mainly on the east side. So the little town of Swan Lake doesn't have much there. There's a couple of gas stations, and if you need gas and you're headed south, there it won't there won't be any more gas for about 30 miles. So keep that in mind. Um, but as I said, the little town, uh, I think the population is under 200 people, full-time residents. So there's a couple little restaurants, a bar, um, and then there's a really nice campground there too that has 38 uh, campsites. And it also, and that's on the east side of the highway. And on the lake side, there's a boat ramp and dock that's part of the campground that people camping can use. And you can also rent paddle boards there and there's little bike trails around the campground. So it's a fun place to be in the summer and you should check it out. So as, as you continue heading south from Swan Lake, the drive starts to get just beautiful down this uh, part of the road. If you look out to the east, you'll see the 
big rocky mountains out there and that's part of the Bob Marshall Wilderness Area which is the fifth largest wilderness area in the lower 48 states and the big thing it's known for is the Chinese Wall uh, look that up if you've never seen it it's spectacular but that's what you're looking at over to the east side of the road as you head down towards Seeley Lake um, once you get 30 miles south of Swan Lake, you'll come into the town, again I say town with quotes around it, of Condon. And here is an airstrip that's right along the road. This is in the town of Condon. And as you can see, the mountains out to the east are just spectacular and that, like I said, is part of the Bob Marshall Wilderness. And if you have a little plane and want to fly into Condon, here's where you'd be landing on this grass strip. As far as the town of Condon goes, it's even smaller than Swan Lake. So there's really, you know, a restaurant, a bar, a couple other buildings, uh, a few houses, but really not a lot going on in Condon. But if you want to be out away from the big city, uh, this may be your spot because you are way away from any big city and it's a very quiet area. And as you can see, a very pretty area. And again, there's actually a little museum here. Um, and then you have the Liquid Louis, one of the famous watering holes along the Swan Highway. One thing you need to be really careful of when you're driving this road are the animals out here. I just showed you a deer. I almost hit a couple of them, but that was the one I could get on camera. I also ran into some free range cattle on this day. And so, just beware, there's all kinds of wildlife on this road and keep your eyes open. Just south of Condon, you'll find Holland Lake, which is a beautiful spot. And there's a big lodge that's located on this lake. You can see it right there. That's the point right there. And behind it, there's trails that go up to some beautiful waterfalls up there. And there's a campground that goes all the way along this north side of the lake. And it has 41 campsites and there's, you know, swimming, canoeing, boating, everything you want to do on this lake, and it's just a great getaway. Um, and the trails will take you all the way into the Bob Marshall Wilderness if you want. So currently, the real estate around Condon, there are 11 places for sale. Uh, I guess 12, actually, that lodge is for sale that I just talked about. But they range in price from 385,000 for a four bedroom, one bath place, uh, that sits on 10 acres all the way up to two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a 2500 square foot log home that sits on 320 acres right at the edge of a creek that runs through the whole property it's a beautiful spot So as you travel the last 25 miles from Holland Lake down towards Seeley Lake, you'll go over a little pass and you'll pass other little lakes that are along the road. But Seeley Lake is a 1,031 acre lake that's great for recreation. There's cabins all the way around it. There's campgrounds there as well. And the town of Seeley Lake, as you can see, is the biggest town we've gone through yet. It's bigger than Big Fork. and. Condon and Swan Lake. Uh, you have grocery stores, restaurants, uh, there's a school there, uh, gas stations. It has everything that you'd need in a, in a decent sized town. It doesn't have the big box stores like you'd find in say Missoula, but you have all of the stores and post office and everything you need for a, a nice little small town. As far as real estate goes in Sealy Lake, in the month of September, there were 67 homes sold and the average price in Sealy Lake was $308,500. Right now, this looks like a nice little beach setting and it is, but in the winter, this is home to the biggest pond hockey tournament in Montana. And it's right out there in that little bay and all this grass area is filled with warming tents and fires, and beer, and it is a great time. So if you're ever here in Seeley Lake in the winter, this is the place to come. 
So on the south end of Seely Lake, you will find the Double Arrow Lodge Resort, which also has an 18-hole golf course. And the course was built in 1994, and it is 6,500 yards from the back tees. And it's a fun little course to play. Part of it's along the highway. I think there's three holes that are along the main road out here. And, but the rest of it is back in the trees. And it, like I said, fun course to play. Some narrow holes, some challenging holes. But if you're in Sealy Lake, this is a, a good golf course and it will keep you entertained for an afternoon. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.